Can you hear me? Yes? Not yet, not yet. I've got to take you back to the goons 50 years ago and introduce you to two characters. It's very complicated. I'm going to try and play two characters. One is... The famous Eccles. <laughs> and uh, I feel very like I did because they say I haven't got a lot of time. And the other character is the sort of schoolboy, Blue Bottle, who is made of cardboard and string. So I better take my hat off for that. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, if you're a schoolboy, you probably wear short trousers, so I'm going to have to. Now, oh, steady. <laughs> steady. These legs are, have been declared an area of outstanding natural beauty. <laughs> or was it special scientific interest? I <laughs> can't remember. Uh, I, I usually, I don't expose these in public because I get mobbed. But we've <laughs> got a bit of security here tonight, so, you know, stay back. <coughs> so, the sketch, Spike Milligan, a bit of surreal humour. So you've got to plug into a bit of surreal humour and think about it. Uh, and it starts with this CD. Uh, just a minute. I got it written down on a piece of paper. A nice man wrote the time down for me this morning. Oh, then why do you carry it around with you, Eccles? Well, uh, if anybody asks me the time, I can show it to them. <laughs> Wait a minute, Eccles, my good man. It is written on this piece of paper what is eight o'clock is written. I know, my good fellow. When I asked the fellow to write it down, it was eight o'clock. Well then, supposing when somebody asks you to tell, it isn't eight o'clock. Well, then I don't show it to them. <laughs> oh. Well, how do you know when it is eight o'clock? Oh, I've got it written down on a piece of paper. <laughs> oh. I wish I could afford a piece of paper with the time written on. Here, Eccles, let me hold that piece of paper to my ear. Here, yeah. this piece of paper ain't going. <laughs> what? I've been sold a forgery. <laughs> no wonder it stopped at eight o'clock. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> you should get one of them things my granddad's got. His firm gave it to him when he retired. It's one of them things what it is that wakes you up at eight o'clock, boils the kettle, and pours a cup of tea. Oh, yeah. Uh, what's it called? Um, my grandma. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, wait a minute. How does she know when it's eight o'clock? <laughs> She's got it written down on a piece of paper. <laughs> 